Hello and welcome to this episode of Lovelytics Loves Data. We are going to be talking about viewing subsets of data, using context and rank with them, and how to best visualize it inside Tableau. My name is Michael Werner and I'm a Tableau trainer here at Lovelytics. Let's get started. So I have a data set containing stats from a Little League Baseball season. Information about each team name, player, their position, batting average, and their total runs for the season. Now my goal when analyzing this data set is to find out who my all-stars are at each position. I can put them all together and create an all-star team. Maybe we can go win the Little League World Series. I'm going to start by bringing position and name onto rows and runs from measures onto columns and also onto label. Sort of descending to place the highest values at the top. This gives me each player's run total for the season along with a little more context about them. Now I will create a filter off of my position field viewed as a single value list from my drop down menu. So I can click through and see specific positions one at a time. Next, in order to find out who my all-star players are, I'm going to pull another instance of name onto my filters, find the top tab on the far right, and tell Tableau that I'm filtering by field for my top two by the sum of runs. This ends up showing me my subset of the top two players when I'm inside of my all category on my filter, but when I select through to other positions, I find that they are empty. Only the third baseman position has the two players and their run totals shown. In order to see the top two in each position, I simply have to right click on position in the filters and select add to context. This tells Tableau, according to its order of operations, to execute the position filter before any other filter, assuring that we are shown the subset of the top two run scores in each and every position when we change between positions on our filter. So our question is answered and I can create an all-star team from each position, but it is likely not the best visual way to view all 18 of these names. I would prefer to give my end user one view that does not require a filter. For this visualization, I'm going to duplicate my sheet and pull name and the position with context off of filters, leaving my original view. Next, I'm going to find the sum of runs on label and add the table calculation of rank computed using pane down. This ranks each player within an individual position by their total runs. Once my table calculation is done, I can copy this instance of sum of runs onto filters. Because this is a continuous measure, I am able to set this as a range of values from 1 to 2. When I click OK, my visualization updates and leaves me with this easily readable all-star team. The top two run scorers at each position. Let's go play some baseball. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Lovelytics Loves Data, and be sure to reach out to Lovelytics for all of your data needs.